Uh, they're working on it. What, what was your other question? Okay, uh, and uh, the second question is, can you take the high road on the obituaries? You've got the worst obituaries. Anytime there's an obituary, you bring up every kind of dirt that person's ever had. They had a DWI in 71. They got divorced in 73. No other newspaper does that. Why do you do that? Well, I, we, have, we have moved away from putting DWIs in our obituaries. We still do talk about divorces if they're in the, in, in the person's history. We offer a very unique service on obituaries to our funeral home directors, and we have a series of clerks who go through and fact check, and we actually catch a lot of errors sometimes that come from a sub, uh, obituary that's been submitted by a family member, and sometimes family members don't include other family members because of rifts in the, uh, within the family. And um, by having a, a fact-checking organization, we're able to pull all of those things together. It's not checking the facts that are submitted. You actually go in and you find other facts that aren't pertinent to that poor person who just died. Right, right. It, it, it's, it's a real low road, and it, it, it really shouldn't be done. And I think someone should be held responsible. And, sir, I think you taking the position you have right now, I'm going to monitor it. I'm going to make sure other people monitor it. We're responsible. I don't want to see any dirt like that. Okay. If your, if your mother was in there and they just brought up some dirt about her, wouldn't you feel bad? Something that you might, you know... I've right. tried to just to forget about or something that wasn't important. Right. It doesn't make any sense to like take that low road just to try to get that tabloid type of feel out of it. Okay. It's very, right. very below what you should do. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, right. Thank you. Well, I guess you got an earful there. Well, that's all right. I mean, I think that whenever you're in the uh, information reporting business, um, when you report the good, as we were talking about earlier, and the bad, um, you're never going to make anybody happy with either side of it. And we work very hard on trying to bring a, a, a balanced perspective to it and bring a balanced review of the facts. And there certainly are times in the past where we have made mistakes and we are constantly trying to figure out how we can be uh, better at delivering the information that our readership is looking for. And in this particular instance, um, you know, I don't have the particulars or the, the specifics, but it's something that we work on on a regular basis. Okay. Um, but as far as the obituaries go, it, it is true. I mean, it isn't just what the family is giving up to the funeral home. I know for a fact that the, the Watertown Times does go digging for divorces. When my husband's mother died, we did include to the funeral home, you know, that she was married to so-and-so and left it at that. And sure enough, you know, in the paper, it says, oh, yes, the marriage ended in divorce. Right. You know, it just wasn't, it wasn't anything that we felt pertinent. And when we gave the information to the funeral director, yeah. we left it out. But, you know, so, so so no. I mean, I don't. I know that, that the paper isn't just relying on the information. They're they're going deeper. And you know, I mean, honestly, some divorces are are painful. And, and you know, maybe the family doesn't want them. You know, listed in the newspaper for a reason. Okay. You know, I I think that that's all. All right. Uh, that that was trying to be said. Well, thank you. Well, thank you all for right. the criticism. It, Okay, well, they're, they're whacking you around a little bit today on obituaries. You well, probably I mean, didn't. It's uh, of all the topics that you put in the newspaper, I can't think of one that can be more sensitive to the family of right. those that uh, just lost a, a loved one. Yeah. Well, and, and divorces, I, I know it's a policy. Uh, well, News Junkie does it, you do it. You, you list all the divorces of the month mm -hmm. uh, in tabular form and so on. Is that really important? I think it's one of the things that people actually are interested in reading, and I think that uh, that's one of the things that uh, that News Junkie discovered early on, that obituaries were very important to people, and that divorces were very important to people, and then there was a certain segment of the population that is interested in, in property transactions, and those were, have been some content areas. What I'm getting at is those days, it seemed like the Watertown Daily Times was a family-oriented type of paper, instead of, well pictures of scandalous types of things that have appeared that I didn't think was newsworthy and, and it was kind of embarrassing for families to see things like that that uh, appeared in the Watertown Times and yeah. I just wish it was much like it used to be. Okay, well thank Probably you. Probably never will be, but... Well thank you for the call. Okay, bye. I guess uh, here, good yes. afternoon, hotline. Yes, Mr. Johnson, I have a question. Why isn't there anything in place to be able to pay for the obituaries when you want a specific thing in there? They told me last week that it was you classify that as a news item. Therefore, you're allowed to put anything in there you want because it's a news item. We, we, have, a, we have for 140 years published obituaries for free. We don't charge the people involved nor do we charge the funeral homes for the space in the paper to put the obituary. And at this point, that's the, the policy going forward, though, as we've all discovered, 
world is an evolving place and that uh, we too need to evolve to meet the demands of our readership and that could be something that we evolve to in the future. A at least have it as an option. It's something that's a, a constant point of discussion. Like, like the last caller said something about um, putting other previous marriages and stuff in. Well, that's all well, well and good. That, that doesn't bother me. But okay. when you don't know how many times that person has been married and stuff right. like that, you know, I just think that being able to pay for an obituary like you have to in the big city. Right. No, that's, a, that's, a, that's something that we do talk about on a regular basis. Yeah. Okay. You need all right. To talk a little bit harder. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you, I've given you folks enough free copy over the years. I want my obituary for free. I mean, uh, really, I think I deserve at least that much. It'll be a beautiful one, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, 755-1240 if you want to get the uh, final word in and so on. I